Hi, this video is to show how to use the upload forms when you have stored primers or wish to order a custom primer. This works for both tube and plate upload. So first, you're going to want to check which primers you have stored in your account and you can find that information easily from the Order Now menu at the top of any web page and then go under Sequencing and click the link for your primers. On this page, uh, on the right hand side you'll see a list of all of your favorite primers which include stored primers um, from previous orders. You can see here at the bottom of the list for this account there are two stored primers, one named Scent Primer and the other named Custom Primer. It's important to remember the names of those primers for the upload form. Now, we're going to jump back over to the Excel upload form and as you can see I've pre-populated some of these values into the form just to save some time but if you were to fill out this form from scratch uh, you have several options in the primer column. One, you can just select from the drop down menu for a standard primer which is very simple. If you wish to use one of your stored primers just simply type in the name of the primer. As you saw on the previous, na uh, previous page the name of one of the stored primers on this account was Scent Primer. Another was Custom Primer, which is in the next cell. And then let's say you want to order a custom primer that we would synthesize in our lab. Um, they do that from an express service, so it's actually very convenient. You, you save uh, at least two to three days uh, you know, turnaround time on your end because you're not ordering a primer, waiting on it to arrive, only to mail it back to us for your sequencing order. So uh, custom, ordering custom primers is, is a very convenient service. And to order that, you would simply give it a name, any name you want. You know, here I've entered my primer. We could name it Synth Primer, whatever you prefer. And then type in the sequence afterwards. Now you will want to fill out any other information you'd like in the form, such as the sample type, plasmids, PCR, or a mix of both, additional services, advanced options. Um, for the sake of, of this video, we're just going to keep it simple, so we're focused on um, simply the primer upload part. And you'll save this form. Then you can return to the submission page, either for tube or plates. In this video, we're looking at plates. You'll select the upload form you, you just entered that information into and click Next. And what you're going to see as this, as this loads is um, in each well of the plate, you can quickly hover over that well and see information about it and you'll see that it, it recognizes the name you entered into the Excel form as your stored primer, which is really neat. So if you remember it was an A1, you can click and it's probably very small in this video, but at the bottom you can see that it's recognized as a stored primer. If you click the well, it, it'll open up this nice pop-up window and again right here you can see that it recognizes it as a stored primer. The same for custom primer also recognized it as a stored primer. And then the third well if you remember uh, we had a, custom, had a custom custom and you can see that it also recognized it as an ordered primer and you can even see the sequence on it. So that is how you enter your stored primers, scent primers, and custom synthesized primers in the upload form.